I know. I'm a bit casual. Way too casual right now. I know, I'm sorry. I really didn't plan on shooting this video right now, but the mood struck me and I had the time. Let's jump back into our Linux environment and let's kind of figure out what's going on when it comes to user accounts. This is going to lead us to a discussion of exactly why we issue the sudo command when we go to do something like shut down our Linux server. So here's the thing about a Linux system and user accounts. There's three types. There is the standard user accounts. There are administrator, often called root user accounts, and there are service accounts, accounts that are used for services. So when I spun up this CentOS box in AWS, we were given this CentOS user account and it is a regular old user account, a standard user account. That's why when I go to do shutdown dash H now, for example, it says, hey, wait a minute, you need to provide a password that would give you the appropriate privileges in order to shut down this system. And my goodness, look at this, must be root. And AWS did not give us any root password information. So it looks like we're pretty much stuck. Well, we're not stuck, of course. We need to be able to administer this system. So what AWS has done for us so clever is they've set up our Linux server as so many organizations set up their Linux servers. We are not able to log in as the root user account. We don't have that password. We're able to log in as the standard CentOS user, but anytime we need those elevated privileges, we can use the sudo command. We have the capability of using the super user do command or sudo command and issue some type of command that would be privileged like shut down uh what did i do there shut down dash h now okay so that's all we have to do we have to say hey look we have the super user capability do it right now we're not switching to that account that would be bad. We're not, we're just saying, look, we want to kind of borrow, if you will, some of that super user capability for our CentOS account that has been granted that capability. Now, trust me, it's going to work. I can't do that one, right? Because that one would shut this down and that'd be painful for my demonstration. But let's try this. Let's try and see what user accounts were created on this Linux box. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, I want to see the contents of or catalog the Etsy password file. And look at that. We can see the contents of this file and look at this. We can see, yep, there is a root account that has been created. That is the godlike administrator account. And look at here down at the bottom. There we are. Yeah, we are that CentOS user right there. And you can see the home directory is given inside of that file. And you can see our default shell of bash is given inside of that file. Remember, if I do a uh, PWD to print the working directory, it says I'm in the home CentOS location. And sure enough, that's my home location as defined in that Etsy password file. So standard user accounts like our CentOS account, and then we have administrative uh, type of accounts. The root account is an example of one of those. And then we have accounts that are used by services. And you can see a whole bunch of those types of accounts that have been created by default for us inside of Linux. So, hey, guess what? That's all I needed to cover with you in this video. So let me do this. Sudo shut down and we want to do it uh, right now. So let's do it and look at that. It shut that system down lickety split as some people say, not me. I don't know why I just said that. But uh, yeah, look at that. That machine is now shut down. That's so cool. I don't have to bother with going to the AWS console and it didn't yell at us 
about any kind of, uh, you know, privileges that would have been needed if we had just tried to issue that without the sudo. So big difference in that command from when we tried to run it earlier. Look at that. That's us trying to run it without kicking in those super user privileges. When we remembered to do that, then it executed perfectly. Now I know you probably don't believe me, so we better always verify everything. So notice I've just gone into AWS and I'm gonna pull up my instances and you can see there before our eyes, the uh, Linux instance that we have spun up. Let me try and move. Why are you not moving? Oh boy, this console can be uh, problem problematic. But I don't know if you just noticed it, it happened right before our eyes the instant state just toggled to stopped. And there it is. That's the machine that we were working with. And you can see that it is now in the stop state, thanks to us elevating our privilege capability there for that split second to run that command of shutdown. Thanks so much for joining me in this video. I hope you're enjoying this Linux Essentials lessons because boy, oh boy, we need this in today's Linux-driven server world.